how's it going? I'm back and I'm still working on this water air kit. I've got the water hoses done, so I've got a video for that. I've told you how much all this stuff was, I've got a video for that. And now what I've got to do is I have to plumb my air side to everything. So I need to go from my turbo to the intercooler right here. And then from the other side of the intercooler, I need to go to the throttle body because this is where the air has to go. The air has to go from the turbo through the cooler, which cools the air, and then into the engine to make a whole bunch of power. I am going to be using these pipes to do it, and I'm going to do all pie cuts. So this is all gonna be cut up. And what that is is basically literally pieces of pie shapes of aluminum that are gonna make my corners because I need to come about 45 this way and then 45 back into here and then same thing there. So what I'm gonna do, just, just because, honestly, I'm doing it because like I could cut it out of these angles and stuff, but I want it to look awesome. Like I want it to look like that to match the whole engine bay. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna sand all this with 320 because there is uh, an invisible layer of rust technically on aluminum. And that's what you gotta do to get the oxidization off is sand it. So I'm gonna sand it all with 320 and then I'm gonna cut my pieces and then I'm gonna piece this all together. It's gonna be so sick. Yeah, honestly, I could make these um, pipes pretty easily out of just cutting this stuff out, but I like to make my life difficult for no reason at all. So I'm going to be pie cutting it. So I'm sanding all the pipes before I cut it with 320 and then I'm cutting them with my super duper pie cuts. I'm doing 10 degree cuts and I'm just piling it up, piling them all up, sanding them all up, making sure there's no furs. All right, so here are all my pieces. I made a bunch of 10 degree cuts and they are going to be what is making my turns. I'm gonna be welding all this stuff together. So I'm gonna get turns out of this. It's a very fine, fine angle. I think it'll look awesome. They already are looking awesome. So how I did it is I just cut them on the degree I picked and did it on one side and then completely rotated the pipe and then did it again. Cause if you just kept cutting it one way, it wouldn't make it in a pie shape. This isn't a pie shape. And that's what you want for making turns, right? So you gotta make sure you're flipping it when you're cutting it. And I just get off all the burrs like I showed you. And then now it's weld time. So there's my turbo, the coupler on, and now I have my bead roll piece, so I'm gonna shove it in. All right, so what I gotta do is run this to over there. So I have to start going in that direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack a bunch of these and then see. And there, that's what I'm going for. I need to go in that direction, so I am turning it left. So I think I can add five without getting into too much trouble, and then I'm going to go straight, and then I'm gonna go back with another five banger. Here I'm marking the smallest end of each one of the pie cuts. finished product other than polishing later. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this under the car and see if that is enough. I only put four on, I told you I was gonna put five, but I think four is to be safe rather than grinding one off, worst case. So I'm gonna put this on the car. All right, see how that looks. Ooh, that looks, that looks spicy. Actually, do you know what? The best thing for me to do is put one in here and then pie cut it and then bring a straight pipe and then connect them. That is definitely the way to go. That's looking fresh though. So fresh, fresh, fresh. And once it's polished, oh baby. Now what I'm gonna do is make a 45 out of this. So I'm gonna put my coupler on that I just got. And then I'm going to look at what's going on here. So this one's going straight towards it. So I have to do the same thing, do 45 and um, somehow they're gonna have to join together, right? So 
<clears throat> we're gonna have to do some trial and error here, but first I'm gonna make one with four, with a short snout, so, because this one doesn't have, a, oh, this one has a large, this one has a short, so I'm gonna do one with a short snout, I already got it, and I'm gonna put her in there, and I'm gonna push it down until it's about half an inch showing. So I got this all tacked up. I'm just gonna throw it in here, see what it's looking like for angles and everything. That actually is gonna work. So what I gotta do is get a straight pipe. I'm going to take this bad boy out and then finish all this welding. And then I'm gonna move on to this So this one's already done, and I just finished this one, which goes in here. That's gonna look pretty, pretty impressive. Just going 45 to straight to 45. See, I'm dropped way low here, so I'm gonna have to crank it up and then back in. So this is gonna be an entire um, bunch of pie cuts. So I'm really excited about that because it's more difficult. And the more difficult, the more I learn, right? So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make finer pie cuts than I have here. I'm gonna make them smaller, and I think I'm going to increase the angle a little bit by a degree or two, so I can sharply come up and over. Because if I take my time, I'm gonna be over here, right? So I'm gonna have to crank it and get up. So I'm gonna just um, take my time and make sure the pie cuts are correct. These ones did turn out very good. Dimes, baby. So here's my shorter snout. I'm gonna shove it in there. Well, I, I had a bunch of these and I needed more angle and I needed them to be shorter because the shorter they are, the quicker they turn. So I made a bunch of these and they turn much more drastically. So what I'm going to do is team them up on here and see what, it, what it's looking like. So it is getting there. It's starting to come up pretty good all right so as you can see I have two marks on here and I measure for the thinnest spot on this pie cut so that is basically what I'm going to do for the direction so if I just wanted a straight turn I would have these in line but if I want to have it turn and turn to the right or left I can have them offset depending on what I want right so now since I'm going to be coming up and turning right I'm going to want to actually have these on an angle so it's also slowly going to move the air to the right. So what I'm going to do is tack them together like this around like, I'm just doing it um, to show you. It's hard to do with my hand, but I'm gonna tack them together something like that and then give it a shot. I'm gonna do three at a time. So that's what I've got so far, and how I've done it is I've got lines on all the shortest parts on every piece. So I can change direction. At first you could see that I was turning up, and then I started turning the other way, and I kept going. So, and then that made it point over to the throttle body and snake over there. So it's a constant twist, as you can see, right? It just, so it goes like this. There she be, bye. So, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna put the coupler on and then figure out what last two pieces I need to fit and complete this last piece. I am very happy with that. That that looks pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna throw the coupler on there and then my bead roll piece. And then I've got to see if this guy is going to work. I'm gonna have to check that out.
There we go. That's a good fit. I'm just gonna have to kind of like line it up, mark it, and then weld her in, find the proper positioning. But that is definitely gonna work. I might have to push this piece in a bit more and then hang this over just a touch. Spin this. You kinda just gotta mess with it, right? And if you gotta change um, pieces, just grab another one or just uh, make a new one, right? The last piece is always the most difficult and um, you want it right because you don't wanna wreck your last piece of the puzzle. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is all done. It should just bolt right up right now. She's really hot. I cannot touch it without burning myself. This part's all done. I'm ready to put it onto the car. I just gotta let it cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, that really turned out for basically the first time doing an aluminum project ever. Very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. So I can actually um, polish this stuff after too. So I might do that. So I need one straight piece to finish off the job. So what I'm gonna have to do is scab these together because I don't want to buy a piece because they're like 25 bucks. I got it here, can make some more welds. This is the straight piece I need. It's about 12 inches. So I'm gonna scab one together, fit this guy in. All right, I got this pipe done. It looks actually sweet. I'm gonna see if it actually works. This one's already in, and damn, does it look nice. I'm gonna put that in and see how it all looks. Voila, she's looking awesome. Oh my God. Is that not awesome or what? That really, really turned out. Sweet, got this one all polished up too. It looks like a freaking mirror, I'm stoked. So, I've got this one all done. Oh my God, this turned out so good. And the only piece that I had left was this. I am not even joking, this is what I had left. To get this straight out, I had to cut this out of um, turns and I'm obviously not using turns. I created every turn I possibly needed with a pie cut and there's a lot of pieces in here It really turned out. I'm very happy with the outcome. It doesn't leak I leak tested all of this with water and this one and I didn't have to fix anything It was already fully sealed from the welding and I'm pretty stoked about that. I I'm loving this this is a nasty, nasty, nasty turbo setup. So that is how I made my cold pipes for my water to air intercooler. It was a lot of fun. If you take your time and practice, you can do this too. This is basically the first time I've ever done aluminum TIG welding. And um, I'm no pro at welding, I'm getting better, but as you can see, it's doable. And all it comes down to is how much hard work you put in and how much passion. There's a lot of passion that went into this. I've been a long, long time. I've been almost a week of all my free time and I am not complete yet. I still have to get the water system running. I need to switch, but other than that, I prime the system and test it. And uh, I'm super stoked about it. I can't wait to drive this car, so make sure you keep up to date. And there's one more episode with me getting this system ready, so definitely stay posted for that. But for now, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.